Cherry is probably best known for mechanical switches, but Cherry America also carries an impressive lineup of peripherals. One of the latest releases, the Cherry DW9100 Slim, takes a slim and stylish approach to a keyboard and mouse combo with both a wireless dongle and Bluetooth connectivity. Coming in at $109, is this the best combo for productivity in the office? Well, let's dive in and check it out. Thanks for watching 9to5toys. Be sure to like, subscribe, and enable notifications with the bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Hey everyone, Jordan here with 9to5toys, and right out of the gate, one of the best features of this keyboard and mouse is that it runs off of a single, small USB dongle, or Bluetooth. So either way, when you are connected to a computer, it has a really small footprint. Razer also has some peripherals that can share a single dongle, but typically for wireless peripherals, you're either limited to Bluetooth, which has a slower connection, or have to rely on a separate dongle for each peripheral. All right, and moving on to just the keyboard. At its core, this keyboard in the DW9100 kit is a wireless, slim keyboard aimed at style and productivity. In addition to the white and silver version that we have here, which is very Apple-like, Cherry also offers a set in a nice black and bronze variant. But overall, the Cherry DW9100 slim keyboard feels sturdy and really well-built. There is very little flex in the body for such a large keyboard. The silver faceplate looks and feels really nice, while the sides and the body are a white plastic that looks nice enough, but doesn't have quite the same premium look as an Apple Magic keyboard. And straight out of the box, the keyboard has a slight rise to it for typing, but there is also a magnetic riser included to make that angle a little bit higher. For me personally, I'm used to having a little bit higher rise in there, so I would definitely use that magnetic riser. The Cherry DW9100 Slim keyboard offers all the functionality of a full-size keyboard with the number pad and then some. Navigation keys are right where you would expect them to be. Across the top, the F keys are a little compressed for a closer placement, which also lets the board pack in some extra keys. Next to F12, for example, the keyboard has a web browser button that will swap over to your browser and open up a new window if you are in a different application, or take the current tab to the home page when you are already working in a browser. At least, that's how it functions with Chrome as the default browser. There's also a Windows lock button that will lock your windows until you need your PIN or password to get back in on the current user. And then over on the number pad, the DW9100 Slim adds an additional key along the right column to squeeze another backspace in. So if you are working in the calculator app or entering some figures into a spreadsheet, there isn't a need to move your hand to hit backspace and quickly fix the mistake. And speaking of that calculator, above the number pad are media controls for mute and volume, as well as a dedicated button to pull up the calculator. Because of its very slim design, the keyboard is using scissor mechanisms with short travel for input. Overall, it types pretty well and sounds really nice and quiet, which matches the style of the keyboard. If you do want a little more click in a slim keyboard, check out the Vissel's LP85 that we recently reviewed. While not a full-size keyboard like this, it packs plenty of click in the switches. The switches have a nice travel and offer plenty of tactile feedback. It's not too sharp or too spongy either. Personally, I would have preferred a little bit of a lighter actuation force here, but that's going to be personal to everyone. The sound is quiet and muted, so it won't disrupt anyone at the office, coffee shop, or at home. Another keyboard in the productivity realm is the Razer Pro Type, and this keyboard is considerably more audible with its MX style, you know, large switch design and Razer switches with Razer keycaps. And so here we'll do a sound test showcasing the Cherry keyboard as well as the Razer Pro Type keyboard.
And one slight bummer here is that there isn't any backlighting on the keys. There are some specific lights like on caps lock and num lock and scroll lock that will illuminate when activated and will also change to a secondary color when the internal battery is getting low. All right, and moving on to the mouse. For the mouse, Cherry has opted for a very small symmetrical design. Despite that small size though, it still comes in at 90 grams, which is pretty substantial. With gaming mice of similar dimensions coming in at around 60 grams, that's quite a bit more weight on the Cherry. Now don't get me wrong, it's still plenty easy to move around, it's not like fatiguing on your hand, but if you are looking for a lightweight mouse, this probably isn't the right pick. But design wise, the mouse looks really sharp. The white and silver accents look great next to the keyboard. The bronze and black colorway is also really striking on the mouse. As far as buttons and input, up top are the standard mouse 1 and mouse 2 buttons, which both have a really nice click and don't move around or wiggle too much like some cheaper mice. There is a notched scroll wheel, which is plenty quiet, but it offers some nice feedback, and also a DPI switching button with an LED light. On the left side of the mouse are the two thumb buttons, and it has a nice indented shell that makes the mouse easy to grip. The right side dents in as well, but I can't quite tell if it's as much as the left side. It looks very similar, but maybe feels just a little bit different. And on the bottom of the mouse is the sensor, a three-way adjustable switch for power, the RF 2.4 GHz wireless and Bluetooth modes, a button for pairing, as well as the handy magnetic slot for holding the wireless dock. The USB-C charging port is located right where it should be on the front of the mouse. I'm used to gaming mice which usually have a way to dial in an exact DPI number. The Cherry wireless mouse has three different DPI settings, but there's no way to dial it into an exact number. Those three different DPI settings are 1000, 1600, and 2400 DPI. You can go into system settings on Windows and change the cursor speed, but that isn't the most convenient thing to do and doesn't give you an exact number. Cherry does have a software to customize buttons on the mouse and the keyboard though. While it doesn't have full control to customize every single button and switch, the Cherry key software does make it easy to add macros, open a specific folder from the push of a button, run a program, or enable a large variety of controls. For the keyboard, customization is limited to the F keys on the top and the additional navigation keys. And on the mouse, the app enables customization of the thumb buttons as well as a scroll wheel click. And Cherry doesn't really advertise any specific battery life figures for the keyboard or mouse on the website, but states that they will last for weeks on a single charge. And like most wireless devices, I would imagine those numbers vary between the RF wireless 2.4 GHz connection and Bluetooth, with the latter usually lasting longer, but I'm unsure of those exact numbers. What I do know is that on and off use for over a week hasn't drained the batteries yet, and I didn't even charge them fully before using them. I'm sure the lack of lighting definitely helps with those numbers as well. They definitely seem to last for quite a long time. But when the time does come to recharge, there is a single USB-C to USB-A cable included that can be plugged into your computer. Interestingly though, there's only that single cable. So with the kit from Cherry, only one device can be charged at a time. The mouse and keyboard will have to take turns or you'll need to provide an additional cable. And thinking about some of the competition here, you know, overall the thin design is very reminiscent of like the full-size Apple keyboard. This Cherry set is designed for Windows though and doesn't come in an Apple layout. In this white colorway and with the emphasis on productivity, I'm tempted to call the Razer ProType and ProClick competition, but those are really very different pieces. Razer's pieces feature a full-size mechanical keyboard with large MX-style switches, and the ProClick mouse is a much larger ergonomic shape rather than the small and minimal Cherry mouse. And then of course, Logitech's MX Keys and MX Master 3 combo might be the most recommended productivity and style themed competition, but at $100 for the mouse and $120 for the keyboard, that's a significantly larger investment. So overall, wrapping up here, Cherry has put together a really nice all-in-one package for the home or office that has some nice added functionality on the keyboard. While it won't light up a workspace or gaming space like RGB-filled gaming peripherals, the sleek and stylish design works well for a minimal setup. Since I usually work and game on the same peripherals, these probably won't earn a full-time spot on my desk, but if someone was looking for a reasonable combo for a working environment and productivity, the Cherry DW9100 Slim keyboard and mouse combo would be an easy recommendation from me. All all right, and that'll do it for our review of the Cherry DW9100 Slim keyboard and mouse. Let us know what you think about them down in the comments below. And thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. This is Jordan with 9to5toys.